Hi everyone, Essie Smith here. Everybody can call me Susan. Um, anyway, I'm here today. I, uh, Jocelyn's Love came out last night and I'm hoping that I'll be able to answer any of the questions that anyone may have. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, Jocelyn's was a, a labor of love. It was a little bit different than what I normally write. And that's one of the things that I love about the stories is that they're not all the same. So if you have any questions or you'd like to ask me any questions about the stories or what's coming up or anything else, I'm all yours. One of the things that I found when I was writing um, Jocelyn's story was that this was more of an internal story. It was more about who the characters were inside and the struggles that were taking place. Uh, a lot of my stories deal with external um, confrontations that are going on. So there's a lot of battles, there's a lot of um, interactions that way where you have the bad guy and you know ships exploding and they're in a race for their life. Well in this way it was a different one. This one it was more about what was going on inside of them based on their past experiences and what they were you know had gone through and about learning to love and trust each other when you're faced with something that's totally alien which happens to work out great for the story but it's completely alien to what you are you know the characters were um, familiar with and there was a lot of conflict on the inside that needed to be resolved and I think everyone at one point in their lives have, have been there I know I have where you know I'm, I'm doing something or I find myself in a situation and I'm not sure where to go how to start out um, I a lot of insecurities uh, afraid when I started writing I was that way um, I was terrified to push that inner button because when you push that enter button, I knew I was opening myself up to the world. And to open yourself up to the world is a really, really scary thing. Because you know you're going to get good feedback, but you're also going to get negative feedback. And with me, I take the negative things um, personal. And I had to get over that. Still haven't gotten there yet, but I'm working on it. Um, some of the other things that I was talking about was, you know, that you're dealing with these internal struggles. And in this case, this story was filled with it. We first meet Sarah in Carmen's story, and we meet Jacqueline um, a little bit earlier. And we find out in, in uh, Traylon's, which is, um, not Traylon, but Keelan, which is Trisha's story. He's one of the four trackers that are part of it. And what we're trying to do, you know, I, you've got this friendship here, and each of them have this hope for finding that perfect person out there for them. And that was the case with, um, with Jocelyn. He wanted to find somebody that was his other half. And I, I believe that. There actually was a saying, and I just, I just read it from an, another gentleman told me about his book, is that when the universe formed, you know, we were like a whole and the gods got jealous and they separated that whole and separated the souls. And so we try to find our other half throughout our lives. And in this case, Jacqueline is looking and he is feeling like he cannot find that. And when he finds Sarah, it changes everything because she has been through such a traumatic experience. And to, to understand those feelings, to know that the person that you love has gone through such a traumatic um, ordeal makes it critical that, that you are sympathetic, that you can, you can emphasize with what they're going through. You're, you're compassionate to that. And uh, I found that Jacqueline, Jacqueline's character was very much that way. It's hard when you're writing to make sure that you, you touch all the bases, that um, you bring these characters out completely. 
So, you know, it, it gets a little intimidating at times, you know, when you're you're trying to say, okay, am I, am I really bringing through what they've gone through? You know, and then I put myself in her position as to what would I have done? I would have been terrified if I had been in her, her you know, um, both with her background and with, you know, what she went through. It, it takes a really strong person to understand and to go through that. But inside, the human spirit is very, very strong. And Jacqueline realizes that. I think he realizes it even before Sarah does. But Sarah's aware enough that she realizes she's got to come. She's got a lot of baggage she's got to take care of. Just think of a ton of Riley, big pink bags. And she's got a whole cartload of them. <laughs> and so she's got to be throwing a lot of crap out. <laughs> so um, I'm just kind of rambling, um, telling you a little bit about my feelings of it. If you have any questions, I would love to answer them. I'll try not to give any spoilers away for anyone who hasn't read the story. But it, it does have a lot of humor in it. Um, <laughs> for me, um, one of the questions is how do you keep all the characters straight? It's like each one is an individual. It's like I, I would know, you know, one son from the other son sometimes. And then, you know, I, when I had a class, I knew that I had 34 students, that each one had their own different personalities. And I think that that is the same way with the characters. To me, they're not just characters, but they're friends. They're people I know. They're people I interact with in my life, in my head. And so they're very distinctive personalities. Um, it's the same way when I'm dealing with different universes, trying to bring all these universes together. And, and remembering, okay, this world has this, this world has this. And, you know, sometimes I get them mixed up, just like I get my kids' names mixed up. But it's not, doesn't happen all that often. 